Hello, I'm Adrian and this is another video in the series about SQL basics. You already know quite a lot about subqueries in SQL. In the previous video, we introduced correlated subqueries. This time we are going to talk about a new operator named exists and how we can use it along with correlated subqueries. Let's get down to work. We are going to work with two tables in this video, supplier and product. Suppliers from the table supplier provide products listed in the table product. So let's take a look at the structure of the tables. The supplier table has only two columns, ID and name. For instance, the supplier with ID 4 is named Amazing Stuff. Great, now let's take a look at table product. It has five columns, ID, supplier ID, category, name and price. For example, there is a product with ID 1 provided by the supplier with ID 1. The category is food, product name is olive oil, and the price is 589. Alright, now let's think about the following problem. We want to find the names of all suppliers who supply at least a single product from the food category. There are a few ways of solving this task in SQL, and we are going to show you how you can solve it with a new operator, exists. First, let's create a sort of template of our query. You can see it on the screen now. Select name from supplier. These two clauses are clear, but note what happens in the work clause. We add a new keyword named exists, followed by a pair of parentheses. Exists works in the following way. It returns true if there is at least a single row returned by the subquery in the parentheses. Sounds vague? Then let's complete the instruction. Note what we added within the parentheses. We want to select all information about products from the food category, whose supplier ID equals the ID from the supplier table. As you can see, this is a correlated subquery, because the supplier.id part refers to the main outer query. So the entire query reads, select the names of all suppliers who have at least one row with a product from the food category. If we now run the query, we can see the names of three suppliers. The fourth supplier was not shown because they do not provide any product from the food category. The opposite of exists is not exists. It returns true if there is no row returned from the subquery. Let's see how that works in practice. We now want to show the names of all suppliers who only provide cheap products under $1. In other words, we want to show the names of suppliers who do not provide any products more expensive than $1. We start with a very similar template. Select name from supplier where not exists followed by a pair of parentheses. Now, inside the parentheses, we want to find all products for a given supplier that cost more than $1. So the work clause in the subquery reads as follows. Price is greater than 1 and the supplier ID matches the ID from the outer query. Again, this is a correlated subquery because the second condition refers to the main query. If we now run the instruction, we can see that there is only one supplier with no products above $1. Excellent! The instruction worked like a charm. That's how you can use exists and not exists in SQL, along with correlated subqueries. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let's learn SQL together.